Today, we are going to see how to construct a regular hexagon, that is, a six-sided figure, and also construct its circumcircle and encircle. So watch this video till the end. I must warn you that after watching this video, you might just get full marks. So like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. The easiest way of drawing a hexagon is to first draw a circle like so. Mark any point on this circle. Keep the radius exactly the same. Take the point of compass, keep it on that mark and draw the arc. Do not take another radius. Do not change the radius and keep drawing the arcs like so. Just repeat this process. Once that is done, then join these points like so. Keep repeating this and your hexagon is ready. So, if you want a hexagon, with each side 2.6 cm, then you take 2.6 radius and draw the circle and draw these arcs as I have shown you. Now, in order to draw the circumcircle or in circle, this method does not work. For that, we have another method. If we have to draw a regular hexagon of side 4 cm, we will take side 4 cm like this and we have to construct angle equal to 120 degrees for each. So this is our A, this is our B and this is 4 cm. Now let us take some radius and draw the arc. Take this point and draw the intersecting arc that gives us 60 degrees and then Keep the point of compass here and draw the intersecting arc. That is another 60. So this full angle becomes 120 degrees. Now we take this point and this point of intersection and we mark this point C. Now we do exactly the same thing at A. Keep the point of compass here exactly. Draw an arc that's 60 degrees and keep the point of compass here and draw another intersecting arc and that is 120 degrees. Again, join this point and this point of intersection and take 4 centimeters. Repeat the procedure at C as well the same way. So keeping the point of compass on C. That's 60 degrees, another 60 degrees, that is 120 degrees. That's another 120 degrees constructed. We do the same thing here as well. 60 degrees, 120 degrees. Take this point over here and this point of intersection. Be very careful. Now can you see this is 4 centimeters. This is the last side. Let us name this D. This is E and this is F. Okay. Now you can use this hexagon to construct a circumcircle or in circle. Let us construct the circumcircle here. For circumcircle, you will take the radius more than half 
of AB and BC will take two adjacent sides and will bisect them. In our earlier video, you remember, if we have to construct circumcircle means, you will have to bisect the sides. So, we'll take any two sides. Let us take BC and let us take, let us take two arcs above and below BC. With the same radius, keep the point of compass at C and draw the intersecting arcs on either side. Now we need to join these two intersecting arcs. The points of intersection, be very careful. And now we will bisect CD. Let us bisect CD. One arc above and below CD with the same radius. Take the point of compass on a D and a draw the intersecting arcs like so. We shall join these two points. And where the two intersect, this is the point over here. Can you see this point? This one. That is your point O, which is the circumcent. Now we have to take OA or OB or OC as the radius. We shall draw the circle. There. That is our circumcircle for the hexagon. Now for the incircle, we'll have to bisect the angles. Let's see how we do that. In order to construct the incircle, we have to bisect the angles. So we have a ready hexagon here and we already have made 120 degrees over here. Can you see that? So we'll have to just bisect this angle B and bisect this angle A. Let us bisect angle B first. So let us take the radius a little more than half and draw the R and then from this point again draw the intersecting arc. Let us do exactly the same for bisecting angle A. So and now we will take this point over here and draw the intersecting arc. We need to now join this point and this point exactly. And then again the same thing here, join this to get the angular bisector of angle A and where the two intersect that will be our point I. Okay and now we have to take the radius from here to here. So we have to drop a perpendicular from I to AB and how would we do that? We would do that by keeping the point of compass here and I am taking the arc like so there and I will take now point A and B and take the radius more than half of it And now we join I, this point with this one, drop the perpendicular here like so. Let us call this point as point P and with IP as the radius, let us hope that we will get a good in circle. Now let us check
there we have the in circle so that's the way we draw the circum circle and the in circle once again circum circle bisect sides in circle bisect angles did we find the constructions easy let me know if you found this video helpful or otherwise thank you for watching